Hi, Lori, GLP-1 Journey in Review. Today, we're going to be talking about diabetes and weight control medication actually help with ADHD. That's the surprising question. More and more people are asking about GLP-1s like Ozempic, Wagovi, Mongero, and Zepbound. At first glance, these medications have nothing to do with focus, impulsiveness, or attention. But what if I told you there was growing buzz that even some early science that suggests they may actually help certain ADHD symptoms. In this video, we'll explore why some people are with ADHD are turning to GLP-1s and what the research says and whether it's hype or if there's a real connection. Let's start with the obvious. GLP-1 medications, they're not designed for ADHD. They're approved for type 2 diabetes and obesity by slowing down the gastric empty and reducing appetite and improving insulin function. So what does that have to do with the brain? GLP-1 receptors exist in the brain, especially in areas that affect rewards and decision-making and attention zones. Animal studies show GLP-1 medications can influence the dopamine pathways, which are central to ADHD. GLP-1 agonists also appear to reduce inflammation in the brain, improving executive function, which includes things like focus, planning, and impulse control. For people with ADHD, where dopamine function is often impaired, this has opened up a whole new area of curiosity. So what does the research actually say? We're in very early stages, but some of the more interesting findings so far, animal studies in mice with ADHD, like traits, showed better focus, fewer impulsive behavior when given a GLP-1 agonist. Cognitive studies in people with obesity and type 2 diabetes, GLP-1 medications like semaglutide have shown to improve attention span and reaction time. Brain imaging trials have shown enhanced activity in the prefrontal cortex regions after GLP-1 treatments. This is the area responsible for decision-making and focus. None of these are definitive for ADHD. They paint an interesting picture. We're not talking about a cure, but maybe just a boost in the brain's regulation. Some of the loudest signals aren't coming from journals. They're coming from users. Let's talk about what they're actually saying. On Reddit, ADHD forums, TikTok, and even GLP-1 support groups, you'll find posts like, I've never been this calm in my life. My brain isn't constantly chasing the next thing. I still have ADHD, but I don't feel as driven by impulses, especially around food. I was shocked. I forgot to refill my Adderall, and it wasn't as awful as I expected. These aren't scientific data. These aren't scientific data points, but they're very interesting pattern, and they're showing up more and more. GLP-1 medications—they're not approved for ADHD, and no major medical organizations are recommending them for that use. There are also risks like fatigue and low energy. These may make ADHD symptoms worse for some. GLP-1 medication can affect motivation or appetite, which are already challenges for many ADHD people. Some users report feeling numb emotionally, helpful for food control, but problematic for attention and creativity. And the elephant in the room, cost. Off-label GLP-1 use can be extremely expensive and it isn't covered for ADHD. ADHD often comes with coexistent conditions like binge eating disorders, anxiety, depression, insulin resistance. GLP-1 medication may help with these, even if they weren't intended to treat ADHD itself. For example, if you binge eat at night and have ADHD, GLP-1 medications might curb the food impulses. If your ADHD makes blood sugar crashes after regular meals, GLP-1 medications 
may stabilize that. If you struggle with emotional regulation, some users feel more balanced on the GLP-1 medication. So even if ADHD isn't the main reason for the prescription, it may be helping indirectly. So is GLP-1 the next ADH wonder drug? Probably not. But could it support certain ADHD symptoms, especially when impulsive appetite and emotional regulation are the problem? Mm, possibly. It's a fascinating off-label story and worth one watching for. If you've tried GLP-1 medication while managing ADHD, I'd love to hear from your experience in the comments.